guys, welcome back to another vlog. Happy New Year. Today is 3rd of January. I haven't vlogged this year at all. I'm, I'm saying this year, I see this year has been for long. I just want to wish you guys a happy new year and I pray that all our dreams come true this year. I pray that all our dreams become a reality this year. I want to say thank you guys so much for supporting me throughout 2020. Um, 2020 wasn't my best year YouTube wise but regardless I'm grateful I gained a lot of new Nigerian subscribers because like most of my subscribers were not Nigerians <laughs> but then I gained a lot of more Nigerian subscribers which I'm grateful for you guys are amazing I thank you guys so much for supporting me so today is Sunday and I just finished making my hair I didn't do anything I made my hair with my natural hair I made shuku and then I just want to put some gel to the front just to slick it. I can't really do edges because I don't really have a lot of front hair. Guys, my sister's front hair is like joining with her eyebrows. I wish. I really wish. But then mine isn't that bad. But I just don't have that much um, front hair or baby hair or edges. So I'm really excited for this year. I don't know why. At first I was really nervous. I was scared. I don't know what I was scared of. I was just scared of the unknown. But then now, with how the year started for me, I'm excited and I'm hyped. Yeah, I got my nails done again yesterday. Yeah. This hairstyle is really versatile. Like, I can wear a wig on this. But then the main reason I made this hairstyle was because of this package I got. I got a package from Natural Hair Rocks. There is a ponytail braided wig here and then this leave-in conditioner from natural pimp i'm excited to try this out and then a brow gel just a clear brow gel let me add that to my makeup drawer <laughs> and then there's this headband from new day satin yeah comes with this manual afrocentric care tips so this is what it looks like they had this event that i wasn't able to attend like i was going to attend it before but then i wasn't now able to attend it because i felt sick i didn't vlog the period where i was sick or tell you guys because that was the period where you guys saw me dropping a lot of videos that was the period when i was sick because i literally worked myself out to the point that i got burnt out like i, I got burnt out from working so much and I just had to take a break. So I took a break, but you guys didn't even notice because I already had like videos, a lot of videos. There's one thing I learned last year, guys, it is that taking care of yourself is so necessary. Like taking care of your mental health, your physical health, everything, like it's so necessary. Me, I thought that I could be working. I thought I was superwoman, but oh no, that breakdown <laughs> just showed me that i need rest and i need self-care and all of that and that's something i'm really going to be intentional about this year and last year also taught me that you can make your plans <laughs> but god's plans is always what is going to happen like you can plan abc and god is already on xyz so anytime we're making our plans we just always keep in mind that god's plans might not align with our own plans his plans might be better we'll always be not might be we'll always be better than ours guys i really love how he's looking i love how it turned out i you guys can see it yeah i don't think he's looking as good he's not looking very good in the camera but in the mirror it looks so nice i'm so excited I really like it, guys. Got my forehead. Anyway, yeah, I just like checking with you guys, and I don't know what this vlog. I'm supposed to travel today. <laughs> I'm traveling for work. Yeah, I'm traveling for work. But then I'm just so lazy to travel because I've been traveling a lot. I traveled three times in December, and then I just came back from a trip, and then I'm meant to travel again. But this one is very important work, so <laughs> I have to travel. But then it's for tomorrow. I want to travel today so I can like get ready, get prepared. But I think I'll just travel tomorrow morning. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So any anyhow, I'll keep you guys updated and yeah. I'm loving my new hair. Bye. <laughs> hey. 
hey guys what's up how are you guys doing i don't even know if to say happy new year um this is probably the second time i'm vlogging this year like january has just been a madness for me to be honest one day i'll talk about it but yeah january has been a madness like it's crazy but I'm grateful to God regardless. At least I'm alive, I'll be. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to start doing my makeup. I put my makeup stuff inside here. <laughs> I'm going to take some pictures with my friend Aisha today. Um, my Instagram has been dry, dull, dead. So I want to start taking more pictures. I think I'm going to do two outfits today. I'm not sure yet, but let's see how that goes, Sha. I'm about to start doing my makeup. It's going to be a year by next month since I've been in Nigeria. Who would have thought? <laughs> this Huda Beauty Primer is so good. I don't know how I forgot about mine. It's the Matte Perfection Pre Makeup Base. And I'm mixing it with this Zaron Oil Block Mattifier. This is my second bottle of this. guys what's up so <laughs> between the last clip that you guys just saw and now i think there's like a week there's like a week gap between that clip and now um i've traveled two times i currently just came back from a trip now i was supposed to come back yesterday but then i came back today i went for work of course no of course but then i went for work and i just got back so i can't i got back to um my shipment from china and i'm about to start unboxing it i'm so sorry i haven't been vlogging i've actually been so busy guys like the level of busy i've been doing is like this kind of busy that you can't even pick up your camera but so let's just go and see what i have So I just came out of Cafe Le Bugatti or Bugatti or whatever the name is called and I'm so pissed 
because I knew I was going to be vlogging so called to find out if they like dine in because like most places don't dine in like it's only take out and they said yes they do I live like almost an hour away from this place and then I came here and they just told me that oh they don't I'm so pissed but I'm trying to get myself together so basically we couldn't eat in they were just giving some conditions that it has to be by 7 30 because of covid but i'm like so why did you people say that you're dining doesn't make sense to me i'm pissed i'm going to shifu now i just called them and they said they're dining so after and i climbed four stairs guys four staircase four story building whatever the elevator is not even working um, if any representative is working is watching you people should do better because Guys, I'm so pissed, like I'm still so pissed because what the hell? It's paining me because I called, like I made a phone call and I asked, can I dine in? They said yes. I was like, it's not takeout. They said yes. So I, I left my house, which is like one hour away, and I came all the way just for you people to tell me that, oh, they took me to one lounge place that was looking like club. The lights were blue and red. I mean, what color? I think I want to do. <laughs> Put your head on my sh Anyway, I just wanted to run and then I said something about my camera and then we were like oh and filming is and taking pictures is something that is not allowed here. I'm not, I'm not a photographer. I came here to vlog because I'm a YouTuber. It was just very annoying to be honest. Like what is paining me the most is that there was a whole, there was a whole like event going on. I don't know if it's somebody's birthday or what, but they were. I can Those people were more than fifteen. They were all seated outside, and I was like, "You can let that number of people sit down." And they were like, "Oh, it's because they made a reservation." I'm like, "How much is the reservation? Let's make the reservation if it's like that." And like, sorry, it's not allowed. Like, it's just good that they were polite to me. They were polite. That's one thing I can say. But other than that. Bye guys. First time being here like physically. But then when it comes to like ordering food, I've, I've ordered a lot of times from them. But like, a lot of Chinese, a lot of Chinese names.
Ra. 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 Ra.